All right, here at the Pinnacles map coming up, we are starting at site 88. And as you can see, it's just a basic loop putting up the uh, tent area map next. And didn't do a walk through that because it is uh, a pretty big area. There are some areas that are shaded, others that are not. Uh, anyone that's in the uh, Bay Area knows not to go to the Pinnacles during the summer. It does get hot. And as you can see, there's no real shade here at the RV area. So if you do go, you will have your, uh, your RV AC on all day because it does get hot. We did do the mistake of uh, going up there a few years ago during the summer months and we followed the shade all day, just staying in it. And then in the evening, of course, it wasn't too bad. Uh, there is water spigots all the way around the sites here to use. But uh, as for potable water, uh, there is only one spigot that I saw that was tagged potable water. And uh, we'll show that, but it's up there by the entrance so we will be trying to make more videos um, just been having a lot going on but anyways we did this video towards I think I want to say January February of um, beginning of the year and you can see we got lucky just missed the rain and not really a whole lot to do out here unless you do trek out to the pinnacles and it is a decent hike over there i suppose you could take e-bikes but then now you have to deal with locking them up and there is a shuttle from the campgrounds to the entrance of the pinnacles but I saw they canceled it one year or for a period of time and then they restarted it at the time we went. It was up and running, I believe. And there is a, I want to say it's like every half hour or something like that. Not sure. Has anybody taken it? And if you have, please do put in the comments if I'm wrong about that. But the uh, sites are pretty level, not too bad. Um, I go to some campsites and while well, we just, we get number, we have one of those level mates that tell you what, you know, how many inches on each wheel you have to put in order to get level. And gosh, lately we've been having like 14 inches on one, 12 on the other, and then 2.75 on the back and then zero. Just some crazy numbers. Need to keep trying to to check that out and see. I, I, I still carry a, a, a normal level and we do it that way sometimes and just try to do our best, but not sure. Man, my next review will have auto levelers, I tell ya. But anyways, as you can see, pretty basic. Again, no shade, really. So, please do like and subscribe our videos. Thank you. And here we are back. Uh, and we're coming up to some tents here. I do believe there's more tents in the uh, camping area, the tent camping areas. But I guess these are like small little cabins. I do believe we did kind of catch the cleaning crew. And so we were able to go in and and check one out. It's coming up. But again, you know, kind of a walkthrough. Uh, not sure if I really had to do the whole thing, but this way you kind of get an idea. If you are planning a trip there, of what, what the campground looks like. And really it's, I'm not going to say there's one campsite better than the other because they're all pretty much the same. This is the inside of the tents or cabins. I'm not sure what they are. Um, 
here again, another view of what you get. There is, I want to say, 30 amp for sure, probably 50. We use 30, so almost every campsite is going to have a 30. And this is space 100. Nice and open. I will say most of the sites are nice and open. And the strange thing is they do get full. Uh, so you do have to plan ahead in order to get one. We did stay in the tent campsites uh, before. And they're not bad. Um, definitely want to look for shade. So right there, what was there was the actual dump site. Uh, sorry about that. I should have probably pointed that out, but I'm probably going to go back. There's the pool. That's the overflow parking. That's mostly for the guy, people coming in to go to the Pinnacles. Uh, here's your bathrooms and showers. Again, that's the pool area. Uh, if it's, you know, if you go during the, during the heat, there's no shade there. Uh, right there, that uh, RV, that Class C over there, I think he's in line to, to use the dump station. It's not bad. I, I want to say you have to go in and ask for a key at the shop, which is to the right, right there. Um, and they'll give you a key and you just go over and, and go ahead and, and use the dump. I want to say it was only one spot for dumping. And that's why there's a line right there. So be prepared if you need to use it and you see a couple RVs there. Again, these are uh, it's kind of the outskirts of the RV park area. Everything's pretty level. Not a whole lot of shade anywhere. So if you do plan to go to the Pinnacles to kind of enjoy the, the RV site and not the actual Pinnacles itself, uh, might want to go somewhere else. Probably not the ideal RV place. All right, so this is the, uh, the entrance to the RV loop. And I want to say, that... all right, so yes, there's another water uh, tap you can get into. And right over here is the, uh, the water that you that is labeled you can drink. So that's right by Space 88, uh, right over there. Uh, they do have a store and a visitor center uh, over to the right. Uh, they do have quite a few things in case you forget something, but please do like and subscribe.